Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and welcome, Madam Secretary. Nice to see you. you I think you just mentioned about um, the need to, to have a longer planning period and um, a longer reauthorization period when it comes, I think, to all infrastructure, not just with regards to uh, air service and airports, but with all infrastructure. And I hear that uh, from stakeholders across Nebraska uh, as well, because it takes a long time to plan projects and then get the permitting done and then to go through the construction. Uh, do you, first of all, do you agree with that? And if you do, um, what, what are you going to do to help us uh, get to that longer planning period when it comes to infrastructure? Well, it certainly will help if it's a longer period that the committee can come to some consensus on. If indeed the FAA reauthorizations for a longer period of time, I think that would alleviate a lot of the, you know, some of the pressure. And as we look at um, air services, specifically in the access that's there, I know you have mentioned uh, the needs in, in rural America, and it's very critical that we have that access. To, um, to our communities and to families and to businesses so that they can take advantage of opportunities that come with having air service. I am concerned about the elimination of uh, the congressional appropriations for essential air service in the President's budget request. And can you tell us what the administration plans uh, to do, uh, what their intentions are? Uh, concerning uh, rural communities, how, how are you going to ensure that these rural areas in America still have that access to air services? We have, we have seven rural communities in Nebraska, and as you know, we're a, we're a large state and sparsely populated. And if, if rural America is going to be able to grow and thrive, uh, essential air service is a big part of that. So what are the intentions of your department with regards to that? It is unfortunate that the EAA's program was um, uh, restructured the way it is. Uh, I am working within the administration to see how we can address that, and I am hopeful that I will have a partial solution to this pretty shortly. I, I would be happy to work with you on that as well, and I know there's many members of this committee where the essential air service plays a big part in keeping uh, areas in our states connected and continuing to grow and have opportunities for economic growth. So I hope that you feel free to reach out to me and other members of this committee to try and uh, work through the uh, problems that I see with the, with the request that's come down from the administration. I am pleased to hear that um, the President has talked about the importance of regulatory reform as a way that we can address infrastructure investment and also freight movement across this country. Sometimes when we look at federal regulations, they're pretty prescriptive and where the government's going to dictate to industry how things are going to happen. And I try to look for ways that we can look at performance-based standards so that we can involve stakeholders and really develop more innovative methods for achieving a, a, regulator, a regulatory goal that is uh, put out there. Do you agree that performance-based standards could facilitate innovative compliance and safety technologies? And if so, has the Department of Transportation reviewed how it could move away from um, these more prescriptive uh, regulations to a more performance-based series? We are in total agreement on that and we hope to move in that direction, yes. Do you have any examples of um, ways that you're, specific ways you're looking at addressing some of those right now that there you was, can share with us? There was an executive order from the White House uh, dated, I believe it was February 28th, and it was a effort to look at all of the uh, regulations and uh, uh, from a status quo point of view that have been just issued. As you all know, everything was frozen for 60 days, and we're looking at that. And then as part of the infrastructure project uh, proposal, we're looking also at the, at the uh, permitting side, and we're going to uh, have announced some of that. Um, I announced maybe too ambitious a word, but there will be a day devoted to uh, how can we work with some of the 
permitting issues, uh, for example, and I don't want to go on for too long, some of these uh, permitting issues are, we all respect the environment, we all want to protect the environment, but some of these uh, permitting issues occur sequentially. Does it not make sense to have some of these permitting procedures occur concurrently? So very simple um, issues like that uh, can make a big difference. So, and so we're in fact having a, um, a, a gathering of uh, mayors and governors at the uh, Department of uh, Transportation this Friday on this particular issue, and we hope to uh, have some further consultation, dialogue, and discussion about it as well. Thank you very much, and I would just add my concern about the uh, contract towers and looking for a way that we can continue that. Thank you.